Well, back here in the Mitten State, it was state semifinal Saturday for six of our area high school football teams who were looking to punch their ticket to Ford Field. Starting in Division II, East Lansing was taking on Muskegon at Greenville High School. The Big Reds reached the state finals last year in Division III, and thanks to this guy, Jacob Price, it gave them a chance to do the same in D2. He scores the first touchdown of the game. Muskegon took a 13-0 lead thanks to a pick six, but East Lansing answered back with a defensive touchdown of its own. Dontavious Royals picks up the loose ball and brings East Lansing within six. The Big Reds led by 20 at halftime, and they weren't kind to the Trojan offense. Dakarion Taylor comes up with one of his four interceptions on the day, and it set up Price to rush for his fourth touchdown of the game. He ran for over 300 yards today and led Muskegon to a 42-7 win over East Lansing. Let's check in on Division 3, Mason taking on Detroit King in Chelsea. And Mason fans showed up in droves. First quarter, Mason trailing. Kaysen Carswell scrambles and finds A.J. Martell in the end zone to tie things up at 7. In the second half now, Mason down by 3. Carswell hits a wide open Tyler Baker who makes the one-handed snag for the touchdown to put the Bulldogs back in front. But Detroit King would have a quick answer. Daryl Flemingster hits Damon Stennis across the middle for a touchdown. King up 3. Carswell with an answer of his own who fought through a leg injury. He finds Caleb Parrish deep downfield. What a catch setting up the Mason go ahead touchdown from who other than Mr. Martell himself. Last play of the game. King needs a touchdown and Nick Wells seals the deal with the INT. Mason wins 26 to 20 the final and are headed to Ford Field for the first time ever. The word cathartic comes to mind. It, it just felt that good to finally get over the hump. This community has been waiting for a team to go to the finals for so long, and to be able to give that to them is an amazing feeling. The past two years, they've beat us pretty good, and they're a great team. They're a great team this year, and coming out, we knew we had a, we had a good chance. We had to play our best game, and that's what we did. Moving right along to Division 4, Portland took the trek out west for a meeting with Grand Rapids South Christian. The Raiders down by a score, but not for long. They bust out the double reverse, and Christopher Batley has got all kinds of room. A 65-yard touchdown run helps Portland bring things within one, but the Sailors would have an answer in the second. Carson Viss on the screen pass to Jake Vermas, who breaks some tackles and fights his way into the end zone to put South Christian up 14-6 at the half. And they would keep adding to it. This time, this with the keeper, and he weaves his way through traffic and in for six. Portland falls 21 to six, the final. While well, over in Division 5, Corona's domination continued for another week. They shut out Flat Rock 49-0 and will make their first ever state title appearance. In Division 6, Ovid Elsie was back in the state semifinals for the first time since 2008. This time taking on Almont at Grand Blanc. Just 13 seconds into the game, Almont running back Chase Batani rips off a 62-yard touchdown for the first points of the game. The Marauders would answer back, though. Clayton Frunchy runs it in from 7 yards out and ties this game up at seven, but the Raiders running ability was too much for Ovid Elsie. Owen DeCoster increases the lead with another touchdown. Almont ends Ovid Elsie season with a 45 to 21 victory. While our sixth and final team left standing was the defending D7 state champions Jackson Lumen Christie, who toppled Millington 35 to seven to punch their ticket back to Ford Field. And after today's win, head coach Herb Rogan said he sees a lot of similarities between this year's team and last year's. I think there's a lot of similarities last year's team, and I uh, hopefully there's a little bit more that we haven't seen yet that's a similarity. But uh, it, it's not a lot different, and I think that's uh, part of the reason for our success is, is that uh, we've done a lot of the same things this year that we did last year to be successful. So we've gotten Trey after from the start of December in the weight room and attacking because we know this is what our ultimate goal has been is to go back for uh, another one and uh, hang another banner.